God, dog. I mean, they always put me in the 1.8. Always. I, I have been in the 1.8 in almost every draft. It, it has driven me nuts. I, I'm not going to lie. It's driven me nuts. Um, I don't have a lot of Bijan. But I, I, I like my exposures to all the league winning players is going to be so low. And the thing that kind of sucks about that is uh, the round two just sucks. Round two just flat out sucks. So, yeah, it just, it, it, like, I, I, it has been obscene how much 8, 9, 10, 11, especially considering, uh, I do think there is a little bit of a teardrop after Brees. Um, I might actually go AJ Brown over Brees. Okay, so Brees just went. Uh, I'm going to go AJ Brown here over Bijan. Totally fine with that. Not a huge Bijan guy. Um, and that's okay. That is perfectly okay. All right, so Bijan goes there. Star up a bunch of players. Not really a huge. Okay, Devon Achan goes. Uh, but drafting Nico Collins a lot. And that's kind of the direction I'm going to go here. Garrett Wilson, last of 14. Okay. Okay, London goes. Alave kind of makes sense. Uh, let's see. Who does Philly play? Penton, Washington, and the... We'll go Nico here. That's fine. Okay. <sighs> and now we wait for a while for my next pick. After doing a few uh, 22nd drafts, uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, now that you're going back to 30 seconds, we get an RBRB start right here. I've done a few RBRB starts in like some, some other leagues. But I think Nico's going to be an absolute smash. I'm not too, too, too worried uh, about Stefan Diggs, I do like Tank Dell a lot, but, but yeah, this is crazy that Alave is falling all the way to twenty first. So, Jamar Chase and Chris Alave, dang, Alave all the way down to twenty second. Almost took him at pick seventeen. I, I'm not a huge fan of Alave at his price. Uh, so he finally goes there at 22. I should. For best of yes. Put your lights on. Sweet green for money. And the 1.5 million. Okay, so this guy goes RB, RB, tight end. Okay. Devonta Smith would be an absolute dream. And then we could get a... God, Devonta Smith would be a dream. Okay. Cup. Could go, um, could 
Could really. Okay, Smith. I don't think he's going to get there. Oh my god, Devonta Smith would be a freaking dream start. He just went. Okay. So we'll probably go Zay Flowers here and then hope Jalen Hurts falls to us. I've been doing that a lot. Um, got a week, some week 17 correlation there. So let's go Zay Flowers. I know it's a little bit of an ADP reach, but we're about in that same range. So we'll do that. Let's do that. And then we're going to go Jalen Hurts. Hopefully Jalen Hurts falls to me. Um... The Devonta Smith drafter is behind us, so we should be good. Should be. I don't like that the Houston-Baltimore game both happened on weeks, week 14, but that's all right. Obviously, uh, I would to get a unique build here. If Tank or Derrick Henry falls to us, I might do that. And then on our next pick at 56, we could take, um, but the Diggs drafter is there. Let's see. Stroud is going 65. So, if Tank or Henry falls to us, we'll go with that. Um, if not, we'll go Jalen Hurts. If all three go, we'll go Pickens and get a good zero RB start here. Huh. Whew. Okay, he goes Derrick Henry. Tank, okay. So now it's for sure Jalen Hurts. Uh, I don't think he would go Jalen. No. Good. All right, so we get Jalen Hurts right at ADP. I like that. And get a little stack there with uh, A.J. Brown. Now, I like to do this, and I, I know this is not the absolutely most popular thing to do, but, uh, man, I have a ridiculous amount of Zay Flowers. I really do. And a lot of Nico Collins. A lot. But... One thing I I do see a lot of is you know so so many people say don't don't draft two elite QBs. Um, I um, I disagree with that. If, if you get like for instance, if CJ actually falls to ADP at sixty five, which I don't think he would. I do block the Diggs drafter and the Tank Dell drafter um, has already has Josh Allen. Um, so I could get CJ at 65 right here and just be done at QB. But, you know, I know that's not sound in the long term.
So, yeah, I mean, I know you're supposed to wait till like the very, very later rounds uh, to to stack. The issue is, I kind of want to go wide receiver heavy, and if I do that, uh, and I have a smaller wide receiver build, like a six or a seven, I um, I'll have fewer um, pass catchers to actually stack with, if that makes sense. It sounded like a bunch of word salad. I could get sexy. I want uh, the, this. This guy will take Lamar. Oh, this guy's about to have a nasty team in the one dot five. Jay Jets. He's about to get Lamar at nasty ADP value. Eight picks back. If he's smart. Now, do I want to get frisky and go Lamar? I am. I'm going to do it. F what the experts say. I knew that wasn't going to happen, though. I do like Hollywood Brown a lot this year. Um, I also get uh, a week 16 stack with Houston. Uh, if we can get Hollywood in that spot. Um, get a lot of AP value as well. I could also go Joe Mixon here, but I really want just a pure zero RB start here. Like Hayden Wink says, draft good players. On good offenses. And I know that's one less. Player you can stack. I'll go Keenan. If that doesn't work out. Okay. Oh CJ. Get a little bit of a reach there. So. Um, yeah we'll go Hollywood here. And then aim for Joe Mixon. Uh, the next round. So. Let's do it. Really strong wide receiver start here. I will have a lot of Hollywood Brown. Obviously, Joe Mixon would be a very nice pick for our build. Get a three-player Week 15 stack. Um, will Joe Mixon fall to us at 65? I think so. I mean, we are uh, the only team. Okay, Joe Mixon goes on the very next pick. Huh? 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 A little bit of a reach there. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a big Rashad White guy. Do we want to get sexy and get Rashad White? No. Obviously, Keenan would be nice. We can get... Um, You could also get worthy and get a little uh, frisky here. I'm a little shocked that the this guy didn't go on ahead and grab AR for a stack. It's a little risky. Oh, a Doomsday goes ahead of Keenan. Interesting. So Keenan goes. I don't have a lot of Rashad White. Okay, he goes. I really want to go Chris Godwin here. I think we're about to go Chris Godwin. Okay, Chris Godwin goes. Do we want to go Kittle? Hmm. There's some other tight ends I do like a little bit later. I'll put Kittle up. No, we'll do 
George Kittle. Didn't really love any of these wide receivers. Um, and we could still... Um, we can. It gives us another pass catcher to potentially stack with Brock as a later QB. I'm a little shocked that this guy right here, P.L. Cohen, drafted Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman, and skipped twice on Anthony Richardson. And AR is about to go in the 70s. That is absurd. That's absolutely absurd. God. Did did Anthony Richardson tear his ACL or Sheesh. Weird room. JSN goes. If AR makes it back to me at pick 80, I'm definitely scooping him up. Did I, I dude? Okay, it's about to say. Let's think about getting him a pick 73. Okay. I kind of want to go in and grab my fifth receiver. Not a huge Jameson Williams guy, but we do get a little stack here with Kittle. Uh, obviously, a dream here would be BTJ or Lad. I think Lad would be preferred because we can kick a, a week 17 stack a little bit down. Good. We'll get either Lad or BTJ here. Conky. There we go. I do think these rookie receivers are priced pretty high. I mean, Jake Ferguson would also make sense here uh, as a part of a Philly build, but we're going to try and get. Um, we're going to try. A little bit later to get uh, Goddard as our second tight end and be done with it. If BTJ falls to me, we're we're gonna go all out zero RB.
Holy crap. We're going all out zero RB. Insane. So... There you go. Um, Jalen Warren would have made sense there. He's obviously not going to fall back to us. But that's going to be a very unusual build with the lad and uh, BTJ right there. Done at wide receiver. So far, um, a one zero six one build. We'll be done at wide receiver for a while. Um, just star up all these RBs. Pollard makes a lot of sense. Okay. Benson, Brian Robinson also makes sense. Okay, can't do uh, Trevor because of the um, week five similarity, and I don't want to do a three QB build here. Obviously, Jalen Warren would be a dream to fall to us. Not going to happen. Blake Corum at pick 97. That is insane. Absolutely insane. This room has been redunculous. Absolutely, positively redunculous. Okay. All right, there goes Warren. Definitely want to go RB here. Um, yeah, definitely want to go RB. We could. No, we're not going to do that. We'll go Pollard to get a little week uh, week 17 action here with Jacksonville. If Pollard makes it to us, this room is nuts. Okay, Pollard doesn't make to us. Um, I do like Brian Robinson better. Than Vincent this year. It's Arizona makes sense. No. Brian Robinson also part of our main stack as well for week 15. So that's a good pick. And then I'm going to go Ty J next. If he makes it to us, I am a huge Taijay guy. Could also get Goddard here. It's probably what I'm going to do. I'll probably go Goddard and then just really hammer a running back. But there goes Dallas Goddard. Probably didn't need to go Goddard there anyway. Really got to get some RBs going here. Uh, Trevor's a little expensive here. 
maybe Trevor could make it to us at 128. Uh, I've seen him slide some. I'm also very interested in getting uh, Brandon Cooks. Don't want to reach for Zeke, even though that would make sense with our stack. Hmm. So Tajay goes. Benson goes. So we'll, we'll go Gus, go along with this Chargers offense. Um, Brandon Cooks also kind of makes sense here. But we're going to go Gus. And if for some reason Brock or Trevor falls to us, we'll take him. With our stack. So Brock's gone. Obviously, at some point, uh, we could build out the um, New England and have our QB2 be uh, Drake May. What is uh, New England's bye week? Our week 14. Obviously, Trevor falling to us to pick 128 would be a dream. Um, not happening, as you could clearly see. Okay, there goes Zeke. People, people are drafting RBs in this room, which is not good for us. Ford in there. Brandon Cooks also would make sense. And just be done at receiver. But then again, we are really behind at running back. I said really behind. This will be a six or a seven RB build here. Um, This team would be absolutely perfect if Jalen and freaking Herbert didn't have the same bye week as Tua. Oh, we're going to be so far behind it. RB. I probably sh should go RB, RB here. And then we could just get Dowdle later. Let's go RB here, and if Cooks makes it back. Let's 
and we'll just go daddle. We'll go Chase Brown, Cincinnati. Really need daddle for this build. There goes Cooks. There goes Herbie. Good. Also do a chig. Um, we'll levis stack a little bit later. Of course, I would much rather do that with the polk. Or excuse me, not polk. Uh, we'd much rather do that with. Come on. Who am I thinking of? DeAndre Hopkins or um, Calvin Ridley. Okay, there's Nick Chubb. So kind of reading the room here, the rookie receivers have been falling. Uh, you're asking a lot for Polk to get all the way back to you here. Uh, and then we could just be done at receiver. But there's other uh, New England receivers we can stack. So I think Dowdle here is probably the better pick because we're still behind on running back. Get a little bit of Week 17 equity as well with uh, our Philly stack. So it does look like this will be a uh, Jalen Hurts Drake May team. Obviously, you know when when you do that, uh, there was kind of a piece of me that wanted to go Herbert and then just add another quarterback because I don't want to take a zero at QB. Um, Herbert would have made a lot of sense with this build, but I didn't want two quarterbacks on the same bye week. I I do think. If you have like an absolutely optimal build, that could be a little bit overvalued. Um, but I want this to be a two QB build because uh, I use so much draft capital on Jalen Hurts and 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 that stack uh, early on with um with with Hurts. Jaleel McLaughlin at pick one forty one. This room has been. Uh, crazy, to say the freaking least. The more I think about it, the more I think I should, especially with having a pretty good tight end in George Kittle, I, I do think I probably should have just gone ahead and taken Herbert. Um, and just be done at quarterback and just eat a zero one week at QB. Um, especially with the way that this build was 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 going. But it's not what happened. I skipped on.
Hmm. What do we want to do here? This room does not like rookies. Uh, Polk would be great here. God, it gets sniped. It's okay. Um, I do think Algier makes a lot of sense here. Um, he just does. I, I do like Tyler Algier a lot. So we've gone five straight RBs. I mean, Algier has is probably uh, the best handcuff you can have. And then we can go. There's Demario Douglas. Oh. Hmm. Not a huge Hunter Henry guy. I thought Pop would fall to me again. We could still get Javon Baker um, a little bit later. Hunter Henry also makes sense here. Gibson could make sense. We'll be done at running back, and that could be part of our Chargers thing we have going on. That's kind of frustrating, though. I don't understand the steam for Pop Douglas. Oh, well. Okay. Baker goes... About to go six straight RBs. Don't want Gibson. F it. Let's go Jalen Wright. So six straight RBs. Fine with me. We could be done at RB. Um, let's see. Senat kind of makes sense here uh, as a week sixteen stack. One of my favorite teams uh, to draft early is Cincinnati. So you get Jamar Chase or. You get Jamar Chase, and you can um, you can build a ridiculously cheap Week 17 Denver stack with the the, the Bengals. Definitely want to, or we could get Roman Wilson and stack with either Russell Wilson or Justin Fields at the end.
didn't draft any Bills. Corley Rogers. Not a fan of the Jets this year, though. Will Levis is still there, and you can still uh, go Chig. I might do that. Could also go Bateman as part of this. You know, I want naked Aaron Rodgers. Let's do that. Jay, good athletic profile that finishes his Jacksonville stack. Okay. Roman Wilson also makes sense to finish out this Kansas City stack. I mean, we are getting ridiculous ADP value on all these rookies. <sighs> Let's do Roman Wilson. We can get Russell or Fields there at the end. So Will Levis went, so that would have backfired. So let's not do Chig anymore. Still wait on the second tight end. Senate goes, okay. Okay. Do we want to go ahead and lock in Drake May? Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. I can drink May there. Now we for sure need another tight end.
Okay, what do we want to do here? Probably need another running back, but it would be nice to give Drake May a stack partner. Running back's just too thin, though. Get another tie in. Mike Gusecki. Now we're going to have Naked Drake May. Because I, I... Hmm. I don't know. Probably do need another RB. Clyde makes sense for this Pittsburgh, Kansas City stack. So he goes. God, we are so light at RB. So light. Pierce also makes sense as a part of this Houston-Baltimore thing we have going on. So we'll go either one of these two. Thought about grabbing Will Chipley late. Probably should go Pierce over Baker. Do we really? If we'll do Baker. All right, let's take a final look at the team. Okay. Full draft. So we got Jalen Hurts, Drake May, B Rob. Obviously, the RBs are too weak. It, it probably needed to be a 2772 build uh, for an extra RB because uh, this is just not going to cut it. But, oh well. Roman Wilson was probably a bad pick, but 10 spots ADP value, 15. 15, 15 on four rookie wide receivers. And then obviously George Kittle and Mike Gusecki. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go.